Welcome to this video that's going to teach you more about the caregiver archetype. If you're the kind of person who's committed to your own personal growth and understand that the introspective work you do on yourself can lead to out to success in all areas of your life and business, then you're going to love this series about the 12 archetypes. Hi, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and consultant, and I help other midlife women align their online identity with their inherent personal identity. I do that through content creation consultation based on personality archetypes and follow through all the way to photo and video production. When you have a deeper understanding of yourself, you're able to more easily recognize patterns of behavior, thought, emotion, and beliefs that both hinder and help your personal and professional journey. With this insight, you're able to course correct and realign the traits and characteristics that are authentically part of your inherent makeup. If you've ever felt like a square peg being jammed into a round hole and just not finding the fit, it's likely you're forcing yourself into someone else's idea of a desirable reality. In truth, we all have unique drivers and motivations that we're born with and all too often, due to a lack of awareness and understanding, we find ourselves pursuing an outcome we don't even want, simply because that outcome was presented to us as the only option. When you realize who you really are, it's easier to define what you really want and start taking steps towards a reality that aligns with your true nature. If you don't yet know your dominant archetype, be sure to pause this video and take my free archetype quiz. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete and then you can hop back on here to finish this video with more clarity. If you've already taken the quiz and you know your archetype but this isn't the one, head to my channel, check out the playlist on the 12 archetypes and find the video relating to your dominant archetype. So without further ado, let's dig into understanding more about the caregiver archetype. The caregiver. Nurturer, humanitarian, martyr. God gave burdens, he also gave shoulders. Yiddish proverb. You are currently living out the caregiver archetype who helps and nurtures others. Being of service to others fulfills you and is one of your highest values. You easily sense what others need and are quick to offer your assistance and provide comfort. You're inherently generous and will take on responsibilities to meet others' needs. The part of you that's a caregiver loves nothing more than helping and nurturing others. This provides you with an immense sense of fulfillment. Caregivers have a nose for the needs of others and are first in line to offer help or support. They're naturally generous and in their highest alignment, they personify compassion and altruism, both materialistically and by connecting with a warm hug and generous eye contact. Caregivers often become the de facto parent who ensures everyone's current needs are met, but also providing for their own future needs. The caregiver in you tends to notice the physical and emotional challenges in life, poverty, illness, and human-induced pain. Caregivers seek to educate themselves to be able to help others more effectively and are open to trying new approaches. A caregiver's own needs and well-being may fall by the wayside, going unnoticed by others and themselves until it can't be ignored due to exhaustion. The dominant storyline of the caregiver is about being available and willing to meet the physical and emotional needs of others. Their help may be practical, like volunteering their services, or feeding the hungry, or creating environments that are nurturing. Or they may be less direct, like implementing structures and resources that ensure entire systems are fully functional and effectively helping others. Caregivers often have to learn to balance caring for others with caring for themselves learning new ways to help and learning to dissuade dependency from others. Activities and tasks fulfilling to a caregiver are those that sustain emotional support and comfort for others or allow the caregiver to teach or mentor others. Making a positive difference in the life of others and sharing their abundant compassion is a caregiver's main motivation. The ideal world for a caregiver would be one where everyone helps everyone else and act for the benefit of the greater good. The part of you that's the caregiver finds happiness through kindness and generosity, and they're greatly affirmed when their actions are appreciated by others. Caregivers don't often offer their support in exchange for acknowledgement, but they do appreciate the recognition when their efforts are deserving of it. My hope is that after watching this video, you've got more clarity about the caregiver archetype. Remember, if you don't yet know your archetype, please be sure to go and do my free quiz over at abigailk.com forward slash quiz. This video will resonate a lot more when you know which archetype is your most dominant. If you'd like to learn how you can use personality archetypes to express your personal brand with more clarity and confidence, check out my class on Skillshare. And now over to you. Let me know in the comments three ways in which you're going to start intentionally expressing your dominant archetype. That could mean 
changing the way you dress or the jewelry you wear. Or perhaps you're gonna take up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you felt others wouldn't approve. If it aligns with your archetype, start that hobby. Or perhaps you're ready to make the commitment or to change your lifestyle, to bring it more into alignment with who you inherently are. I'm excited to see how this awareness transforms your life.